Right then, I'm going to be making some necklaces and uh, maybe a couple of other bits, but focusing on the necklaces today. I've got uh, like a, <clears throat> excuse me, a bird skull here and like a bull. So what I've got is a pot full of molten pewter. That's what we're making it out of. And uh, this here is a silicon mold, as is this one which can take the heat, no problem. So we'll just go ahead and pour this out. We'll start off with the bird skull. It does spill sometimes. There you go. That's all right. What I'd like to do is tap it. This helps it get into all the uh, nooks and crannies inside. Get rid of the top bit. Doesn't look like much now, but afterwards I can trim it with the uh, Dremel sort of device there. So we'll put that to one side. And we'll do the bull. Oh, what I didn't tell you is uh, I did pour some baby powder in there. Uh, baby powder helps the, the molten metal um, flow around the mould and it protects the mould slightly as well. So just a little bit. Right, so we go ahead and pull this one. This one's a bit trickier. It might not work first time. It does make a, a bit of a mess, but that's all right because all the messy bits I could just remelt. Let's put it straight back in the pot. Yeah, I'm happy with that actually. It's all right. It's not these bits here. It's not these bits here. It's the the main body in there. Right. So what I'm gonna do is just let that set and cool down, and I'll get right back to you. Right. And it says it's it's ready. It's still really hot, so I've got to be careful. And there you have it. Now, I will be trying to drop it on me, um, buffing it up with the Dremel device later on, and I shall be drilling a hole on the top, attaching the, uh, the loop to attach to a necklace. That's pretty cool, I think. I like that. Um, still waiting on the... No, that's ready. I need two hands for this one, so I'll pop that out and I'll get right back to you. <clears throat> right, we got there in the end. There's the bird skull. I'll attach the, I'll buff it up. It looks a bit rough where I was trying to get it out with the, uh, out of the mold, but all the rough edges I can uh, file away. I've drilled a hole in the top there and attached a pendant. Now the, you know, the loop for the necklace. That'll make a cool little necklace. Right, put it to the one I made earlier. Right, I'll go and make a few more of these and uh, I'll get back to you. Right, whilst we're waiting uh, for that to cool down, they're all too far, far too hot to handle. This is one of the bird skull that I made before I started filming. So I'm just going to get my glasses on because bits do fly off. And I go, ouch, if it goes in my eye. And what I'm doing now, I'm going to buff it up with one of these. It's like a Dremel, but a cheaper version. But it does the same thing. It's got a wire round brush here. And a bit of noise. So apologies. And it might go out of focus, so. Right, it's a before. Look at it before. And we'll see it after. Nice and shiny, it's going. You can't see it, but there's bits and bits of pewter flying off in my in my face. <laughs> I 
Au. There's a few uh, sharp edges here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little needle file and I'm going to go ahead and straighten them out and I'll carry on filing and we'll get back to you in a minute. Right, uh, please excuse the uh, TV sound in the background. Okay, so I'm back indoors now. I've made six of the bull skulls. And I've buffed them up. So now what I intend to do is drill a hole in the top. Add one of these things, which is the loops that goes into the drill hole. Uh, add a loop and put it onto one of these, which is uh, one of those leather sort of necklaces. So yeah, I shall do that with the um, bird skulls as well. They're a little heavier, so I don't know if that's going to work well. Might be cool just as it is. We'll see. The reason I've made so many is because sometimes the um, the piece, when I start screwing it in, does snap off and I might have to remelt the whole thing. So... I have a drill and what I've done is I've marked the depth on the drill bit just turn this thing on and I'm literally just gonna drill a hole in the top to that depth Do you know what? This does take a while, so uh, I'll carry on and do this, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Right then, so I've drilled the holes into the backs. I thought these uh, bird scales were going to be a little bit heavy for a necklace, but um, my partner Zoe, she says they'll be fine. So, I'll take her at her word. So these are the uh, the loops. I'm, they've got a screw thread on the end. I'm literally just going to screw this in mm. as gentle as I can. Got some pliers to help me along the way. I don't want to. There's a very good chance of snapping it inside and. You can't drill these out, so you've got to literally melt it all down. Which is rather annoying, but it is what it is. Yeah. And then I get a loop. And separate the loop there. Put it on, close the loop, it's a bit fiddly, and we get our necklace, or chain, whichever you call it, we're literally going to pass it through the hoop. Like so. Sorry, my daughter's yawning in the background. Right. There we have it. I shall model it for you to see. Right, this is uh, Galisi. She's my model. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have it. A one bird skull necklace. Awesome. Thank you, Khaleesi. Right, same uh, principle for this one. The uh, bull. Just put the uh, pokey bit in the hole. Turn it as far as it will go. Plop 
Pues... Sorry about my crazy daughter. Right. Again, we get a loop, which we open. Slide into that bit. Come on, guys, so fiddly. Bit of sneeze coming on, so I apologize if I sneeze. Ah. And my daughter Elise yawning in the background. <laughs> it is fiddly, but it's worth it. Okay, let me get one of the uh, the necklace thingies, poke it through, jobs are good in. Right, so I'll do that, I'll finish the rest off and uh, I'll get back to you when they're done. And here we have the final products all finished. So we've got six of these bull, bull skulls. Oh. And I've only done two of these uh, bird skulls or necklaces. And I've got some uh, gift, little gift bags for them to go in. So yeah. Uh, it takes a while, it does take a long time actually to make each one. I reckon at least an hour and a half to two hours um, to get each one right, if I was doing it individually that is. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. And I hope you like uh, the, the finished product. Please give us a thumbs up. I appreciate you all stopping by to watch. I'll see you all on the next.